We pick back up on our IFR flight from College Park, Maryland to Atlantic City, having just leveled off at 7,000 feet and completed our cruise checklists. We're going to wreck Paleo to join Victor 44. Our route is taking us along this Victor Airway across the Delmarva Peninsula. We'll pick up as we're crossing the Delaware Bay. We can get a check of our destination airport weather by seeing a METAR for Atlantic City. We'll hit the FPL hard key on the MFD, push the FMS knob to bring up the cursor, scroll using the outer FMS knob down to the destination KACY, and at the bottom we see our destination's weather. Heavy winds out of the northwest and few clouds. We'll expect runway 31. This weather isn't a replacement for the ATIS information, so we'll still need to dial that in and listen. If we hit enter when the cursor is on Atlantic City Airport, it brings up some information, including frequencies at the bottom. If we push the COM knob, we'll switch to manipulating COM2. If we push the FMS knob and scroll to the ATIS frequency, we could hit enter and it automatically populates in COM2 standby. We could do the same thing for the approach frequency in COM1 in anticipation of a handoff to Atlantic City approach. When we do get the handoff to Atlantic City and contact them, they tell us to expect the RNAV Yankee Runway 31 approach. We're en route to the Sea Isle VOR, so we could set that as our transition, Sierra India Echo. And we'll set the minimum for the LPV approach. We'll just load it for now. Activating it would change the GPS guidance, which we don't want as we haven't been given any instruction apart from to expect the approach. We can preview the legs of the approach on the flight plan page. Let's say ATC comes on now and tells us to proceed direct to Jenga. This is the initial approach fix, so let's hit FPL, scroll to Jenga on the approach sequence, and hit direct, enter, enter. This will also activate the approach, and the autopilot will turn us towards the fix. ATC tells us to descend to 3000. We'll set our selected altitude to 3000, reduce power as appropriate, hit VS and set an appropriate vertical speed using the wheel. As we get closer to Jenga, notice the vertical track has come alive on each side of the altitude tape, and the top of descent point is indicated on the MFD moving map. Once we get our approach clearance from ATC, assume we're told to cross Jenga at or above 2000, we can start planning our descent. Let's set the bottom of this descent at 1000 feet, and we can arm vertical path capture mode by hitting VNV. VPTH comes on in white on the status bar. The descent starts as we reach top of descent and we reduce power accordingly. We'll arrive at Chenga at 2000 feet and level off into altitude hold mode. As we pass by the next fix, STEV, another top of descent has been created for us prior to Pristi, the final approach fix. When we arrive at that top of descent, we'll start down to the next step down altitude. It's at this altitude that we'll intercept the glide path, so we can activate approach mode by hitting APR. Notice GP comes up in white on the status bar. When we intercept the glide path, we start down on the approach, and it's usually at this time that we're handed off to tower. The selected altitude is now meaningless as the autopilot is simply following the glide path. So we could set our missed approach altitude in then at 2000 feet. We'll be keeping on top of everything that happens on the approach and upon reaching minimums, have a look out and let's actually do the missed by first clicking off the autopilot, cramming the throttle, climbing, cleaning the flaps and calling our missed approach. After we pass the runway threshold, the approach goes into suspend mode. We'll unsuspend it by hitting the SUSP soft key. We can re-engage the autopilot now and the aircraft will be in this pitch attitude climbing on the GPS guidance for the missed approach. We'll hit IAS to get it out of pitch mode and set a good climb airspeed. We'll reach 2000 feet and then level off. The missed approach procedure takes us to Warwick and then direct to our holding fix at Kovac. The GPS is computed a parallel entry for us, which the autopilot will fly each leg of.
After we've established on the outbound leg of the hold, let's say ATC has instructed us to expect vectors for another try at the RNAV approach. They tell us to turn left heading 130, which will be a downwind for runway 31. We twist that in our heading knob, and then we'll need to activate heading mode by hitting HDG. We can activate vectors to final, or we can activate the leg prior to the final approach fix Pristi, which is where we're most likely to be vectored onto the approach. We do that by hitting FPL, scrolling to the end of the leg we want to activate that would be on the Pristi fix, hit menu and enter twice to activate it. ATC will keep us on this leg until we're past the beam point of the final approach fix, and then it'll turn us onto a base leg by giving us a heading of 040. As we get close to the leg, we get our approach clearance, told to turn left heading 340 and descend to 1700. We turn the heading in, set 1700 in the altitude, hit VS and set a descent while reducing power. Since we're cleared for the approach, we can also hit approach mode. And just as before, the autopilot will turn in when the lateral guidance comes alive and start down once picking up the glide path, taking us down to the runway for a landing this time.